Bonnie's Insider is brought to you by Universal Primary Care, providing care to the entire family. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bonnie's Insider, presented by Universal Primary Care. Well, the wait for Bonnie's men's basketball has already been a long one in over nine months, and unfortunately, that wait will stretch at least two more weeks after the program paused activities on November 19th following a positive COVID-19 test result within Tier 1 personnel. The safety and well-being of our student-athletes, coaches, and other team officials is paramount, and the program will be on pause for 14 days following NCAA and County Health Department safety protocols. But we now need to wait until December for the Bonnies to finally tip off their season. When the season does begin, one of the key contributors figures to be junior Jaron Holmes. Yes, you heard that right. While the player wearing number five on his jersey will be familiar to Bonnie's fans, there will be a different name on his back as Jaron English legally changed his name during the offseason. This week, he shares the heartfelt story behind his decision. Bonnie fans, I changed my name from English to Holmes to reflect my mother's family and, and her name. Uh, my mother's maiden name. It's mainly because it's important to her and it's important to my family. I represent them and I choose the family that chose me all these years. I thank English for the years I've had, but it's time to start this new chapter and I can't wait to play hard for you guys in homes and represent my family and make my mom proud and my brother, you know, just as proud. It was a promise that I made to my brother on his 16th birthday. My mom wouldn't allow both her sons to have different last names. All he wanted for his birthday was to change his last name. So he asked me if I would change it. I told him if that's what he wants, that I, I'm happy to do that. When the judge told me that I grant you, you know, the name of your mother's maiden name, I just saw my mom just break down and my grandmother behind her broke down and for the first time, I saw my grandfather cry. I just grabbed my mom and hugged her and told her I loved her and that this was for her and that this season is for her and, and the family. So that's when I knew that I was doing the right thing and that I chose the right family and I chose the family that chose me. So it's just important that I represent them as I'm getting older, continue to carry my grandfather's legacy, continue being a homes man and being a great guy. My grandfather is very important to me because he got me involved in the game of basketball. He's the only father figure I've ever had. Besides my mom doing both duties, my grandfather being older, I wanted him to see that I've noticed the man he has shown me to be. He still has an influential part in my life. I talk to him every day. It's a blessing to have him still. It's a blessing to have my grandmother. Those two have done so much for me, my mom and my brother, that it was a no-brainer when my brother asked me to change my name. I recently Googled my name, Jaron Holmes, and it was nothing up there. Basketball related except for the bodies page. So I'm excited to change that. It's been a long road with my family, um, with my mom supporting my brother and I, running us from game to game. It was just a testament that all the work has paid off and that finally I can reward her. Without the, the Holmes family and without my mom and my grandparents, and without my brother, I wouldn't be who I am today. That's the main reason why when I first saw it, I kind of broke down. It was a start of a new life for me, kind of. I realized at that moment that I was doing the right thing. Like I had prayed on it so many times and God just like answered my prayers. I asked him what to do. When this time came about, I knew he had answered it. You know, you, things aren't always done when you want them. He does them when he feels his best fit for you. I'm grateful and I love you guys. I love all the fans here at Bonaventure, and I hope you guys accept me and my and my decision. And I know you guys will. To the Holmes family, I love you guys. Mom, granddad, grandma, Will, you guys are my rock. And uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. I'm glad you guys have always loved me and supported me. And um, I'm Jaron Holmes, and uh, I'm ready to play hard. And we can't wait to see Jared and the rest of the Bonnies back on the floor very soon. When they do, both the Bonnie's men's and women's teams will have a little bit of a different look this season. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the new threads.
it's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll chat with one of the Bonnie's longest tenured head coaches, tennis head coach Mike Bates, in the Energy Mark Coach's Corner. You're watching Bonnie's Insider, presented by Universal Primary Care. What's the best way to pick the right college? Use your head and make a practical choice based on cost and academics? Or follow your heart to a place that just feels right? At St. Bonaventure, you can do both. Here, you'll join a unique community that celebrates individuality, meet professors as passionate about people as they are about learning, and form lifelong connections without a lifetime of debt. Come see for yourself why St. Bonaventure isn't just a special place, it's a smart choice. Away from campus? No problem. You can follow Go Bonnies wherever you are on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Keep up with all your favorite squad. And don't forget to use the hashtag unfurl. For well over two decades, tennis coach Mike Bates has been a constant on staff at St. Bonaventure. A three-time Atlantic 10 Coach of the Year, his teams have constantly found success both on the court and in the classroom earning ITA all academic honors nearly every year. His squads have even been recognized with awards for their work in the community. In this week's Energy Mark Coach's Corner, Bates chats about his time at St. Bonaventure as his teams work toward returning to the court in 2021. I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I was, went to Slippery Rock University in Pennsylvania, sports management major. I started teaching when I got out of college. I worked in Pittsburgh, Boston for a while and just slowly got into University of Penn as assistant coach there and loved it and had the opportunity to come here and been here 26, 27 years. I think overall St. Bonaventure has changed quite a bit. There's still that family atmosphere you get from being here and I think that's never gonna change. It was quite an experience. Two years before that, we finished 10th in the conference. Next year we finished third, and then we jumped and won the whole thing. We had guys that were on that team that finished 10th. Two years later, we're winning the, you know, the A-10 title. For me, I think it was just, it was fun to see the players, the enjoyment they got out of it. And we got to play the first round of NCAAs down in Texas A&M in front of 500 fans. It's just a great experience to go down there and compete at, at that level. And we didn't feel too bad. We lost to Texas A&M, but you know, they made it to the Elite Eight. So they were, they were a pretty good team. We still have some players that did not get here because they couldn't get their visas in time. Hopefully they'll be here in January. Some other ones had to come early to quarantine. It was a challenge to get them all back here. The school really helped out, letting them stay in the dorms for two weeks beforehand. I think that really helped out a lot. I think the internationals in general are used to traveling, used to the being away from home. I think they're almost more mature sometimes. So I think that helps out. And having the two other ones here, Bousset and Martin, it was rough for them, I think, in some regards, not being able to see their family. But you know, with technology nowadays, they can FaceTime or Skype with them. But they were safer here than they were trying to travel, trying to get home. So, and our school was very accommodating and helping them out and letting them stay here for the summer. I know it wasn't the, what they expected, a little maybe a little more boring. Safe-wise, I'm sure their parents appreciated it. Tennis-wise, I think we're, we're pretty safe. I mean, we're usually pretty far distance, at a good 78 feet across there, you know. So we try to keep our distance. All the players have been really good. They, you know, they wear their masks to the courts and then we start spreading out on the courts and everything. You know, my assistant and I, we keep our masks on the whole time while we're out here. So I think they've adjusted well. Just part of the part of the process is getting used to it and doing what they're supposed to do. And we keep telling them, you know, do what you're supposed to do so we can have a season. That's the main thing. Base teams have as much of an international feel as any Bonnie squads on campus. The men's team boasts student athletes from six different countries, while the women's squad has representatives of four different nations. Stick around because on the other side of this break, Welcome back, Voice of the Bonnies, Gary Neese, and beat writer J.P. Butler to continue their Bonnies basketball season preview. Western New York is known for energy innovation. Today, Energy Mark is leading the way for the next generation of renewable energy. At Energy Mark, we help power Western New York homes and businesses with low cost, locally produced energy, including renewables like solar and wind power. Energy Mark, the official energy supplier to the Buffalo Bills. Connect your account to Energy Mark at buylocalenergy.com.
Schultz is always at your service, ensuring your vehicle gets the maintenance it requires. Now, with modern, touchless options across the entire auto care experience. Speak with a service advisor on the phone or at one of our newly envisioned service centers. Pay invoices online or via mobile app. And drive home in confidence knowing Schultz only permits limited personnel access to your vehicle. Exceeding expectations is our mission. That's why the next generation of auto care is already here at Schultz. Welcome back to Bonnie's Insider, presented by Universal Primary Care. Last week, we invited longtime voice of the Bonnies, Gary Neese, and OAN Times Herald sports editor, J.P. Butler, to take a look at the strength of Atlantic 10 men's basketball as the new season dawns. While the Bonnies are currently on pause, there's still much to be excited about as the new year closes. This week, Gary and J.P. take a closer look at the Bonnies roster and what fans can expect this season. This is the year... That, that they say it's our turn. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make our own mark and, and, and if they get the drive, I think they can do that. And it's funny, you know, every year we talk about uh, such an anticipated season and mm -hmm. I feel like we've been using that word every year now for like the last six or seven years. Yeah. But they really are at that point this year now. The one thing that this team has to do is sort of prove it against real good mm -hmm. competition. That is the next step for this team, we'll see where that leads them. To me, there's a little bit of an asterisk on that from the standpoint that Oshun was right, out for a lot of those, games, those yeah. games. So that's what they need to be able to prove this. And I think they can do that, having everybody back a year older, mm -hmm. a year better. And when you add in a guy like Roberts and Attaway, who just the way Schmidt talks about them, I think these guys are gonna be pretty good additions to the team. I think we're really going to see a different Kyle Lofton. I think yeah. it, it's time for him to shine. He had a very good freshman year and deservedly got freshman honors. Uh, last year, I think he took a lot of pressure on himself to carry this team. He knew that Courtney and Ladarian were gone. Once he got some confidence in some of the other players, when Jaron got back into the lineup and he started to relax, and that's when Bonaventure started playing really good basketball about about midway through the non-conference season. What happens last year is because of how balanced Bonham was where we saw I think six different guys led the team in scoring at least twice. His numbers were actually pretty similar to what they were as a freshman. Now anybody who watches this team on a daily basis knows just how good he is, mm -hmm. what he's capable of, and even when he's not scoring the things that he does to make this team better. But if you're on the outside, if you're a national media member on the outside and you're just going sort of to pick these lists, what you see is that hmm, his numbers didn't really get any better from what they were the year before. So you kind of forget about him a little bit, I guess. And now you go into this year where, yeah, they've, they put out the Bob Cousy watch list for the top point guard in the country and there's three eight ten point guards on there and he's not one of them because these other guys took such a jump statistically last year that maybe he didn't do. And knowing his competitive spirit, you know that uh, he's probably got those three names on a, on a blackboard yeah. somewhere. Darren Fisk, when, when they got on campus, made him a, one of the guys to really concentrate on. I think he's stronger. I think he's more comfortable with the system now. He's got a motor on him and, and he will go. This is a guy who's a top 10, 8, 10 player. I had him on the second team, he made third. To me, he's a top 10 player if he doesn't score a point because I've never seen a guy change a game defensively because he has the ability to block shots the way he does with his ridiculous arm span, but also to take charges. Been one of the better defensive teams in the league the last couple of years because of having him Back there, he makes up for mistakes, as Schmidt says all the time. If guys get beat, you know you've got him in there to help. Now the question is, how much better can he get offensively? I really like Dom, and he is intense and in the game. I really like how he does anything to help the team. He will take a charge. He will he will try to make a steal. He'll be on the boards. He'll be trying to block a shot. And on offense, uh, it was great to see him finally put the ball on the floor and go for the basket. I honestly think uh, you're looking at a, a very talented all-around player. He's an excellent defender now, and he, to me, is the best rebounding guard I've ever covered on this team. If he can just limit those inconsistencies and put all of those things together, the shooting, the rebounding, the defense, you're talking about a, a, another maybe all-conference 
caliber guy for this Bonnet team, and then they're obviously that much better as a result. So I think Jaron is the glue guy to this team this yep. year. He's the guy that is going to do anything and everything it takes for this team to win it. If he needs to yell at a teammate in practice, if he needs to step up his offensive game, if he needs to do whatever he needs to do, he's going to be the guy that is going to be in the end of the ball game. He's going to make the big play, and, and he's taking it upon himself. Great player, just one of the best all-around people mm -hmm. that I've covered in a decade plus of doing this. His impact is profound in a lot of ways, as we know, and I certainly expect him to be doing kind of the exact same thing this year as he yeah. was last year. And one of the keys this year for this team, I know they're cohesive. I think the big thing this year is Justin Winston stepping up. I think he has to make that next step up. He's a solid player. You can see the talent just oozing out of him. And now he's got to give him that third, fourth, fifth option like he was at times. He can't disappear this year. He yeah. has to be a force and make people guard him. And that frees everybody else up. Yeah. I watched a few practices last year where Attaway was the best player on practice. You can see the starters getting frustrated because he's just beating him. You mentioned the word practice for me, for a lot of these guys that you maybe haven't seen before. You really kind of rely on the way that Coach Schmidt talks about them. And he has gone on record to say that at times Jalen was maybe the best player in practice before. And he doesn't talk about just everybody that way. And so to me, if Mark Schmidt is saying it about a guy like Jalen, then there, there must be some truth to that. And so I'm very curious to see the kind of impact he can make. With Roberts, Bonaventure knows what they're getting. They worked against him in two scrimmages. They That's know the what he does and how he plays and how he can contribute. And I, I think that was a, a great move. I, I I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to play this year, but, but he finally got the waiver. And all of a sudden, uh, maybe Bonaventure goes up another point in the ranking. If you think you're already sort of this good now and you think this guy is that good, there's no way you're just going to turn down adding another great player right. to your team if he's eligible to, to, to maybe actually push that team over the edge right here, right, right now. You're not going mm -hmm. to turn down that opportunity. But it has created a very interesting dynamic, obviously, with just, you know, the now what, eight juniors right. they have on this team and so many guards where, again, it'll just be interesting to see how it plays out. The preseason honors keep rolling in for the Bonnies. Three men's players were named to the preseason All-Big Four team earlier this week, and four Bonna women's players also received that same honor. Be sure to check out GoBonnies.com for more information. Well, that's all the time we have for Bonnie's Insider this week. Thanks, as always, for tuning in and spending some time with us. We want to wish all of our Bonnies and their families a great Thanksgiving. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you back here next week for another episode of Bonnie's Insider. Bonnie's Insider has been brought to you by Universal Primary Care, providing care to the entire family.